Some Republicans are worried now that Republican Donald Trump has all but clinched the GOP presidential nomination that his inflammatory rhetoric about Muslims, immigrants, and women will tarnish the entire GOP ticket in the general election. But a smaller and less noticed pack of GOP candidates for other offices has fully embraced Mr. Trump, inspired by his blunt talk and nationalist message. It's a story from Wall Street Journal reporter Beth Reinhardt. Beth, what are you hearing? In the past few days since uh, Donald Trump all but clinched the Republican nomination, you've heard about a lot of prominent Republican uh, elected officials, party leaders, candidates, all, you know, sort of wringing their hands, running away from Trump, worried about him at the top of the ticket that he's that it's going to be a drag on Republicans because um, his his favorability right now among women and minorities is abysmal. Um, but uh, what this story is about is the, the counter to that is that there are candidates, um, a smaller group, but candidates nonetheless, many of them running for the House um, in Congress, and they are embracing Donald Trump and hoping to ride his coattails um, in November and, and adopting, or, or they have adopted in the past, um, elements of his platform, um, especially when it comes to immigration. Um, some of them have run before on these anti-immigration platforms and not gotten very much attention, and now they see the standard bearer of their party taking a very hard line against immigration, and so this is a welcome development for them. Wow. I think there was a, a congressman or a candidate for Congress in Maryland who you said basically said something along the lines of, finally, you know, Trump and others are, are saying what I've said all along. Exactly. Yeah, that was um, Pat, Pat McDonough, who's been called the Trump of Baltimore County. Um, and he says, I, I feel like I just won the World Series with Trump at the top of the ticket. Uh, so there, there are candidates out there um, who are uh, excited about Donald Trump. Um, they're the minority, but they're, they're out there. Wow. We're speaking with Wall Street Journal reporter Beth Reinhardt. Her story is called Some Candidates Once on the Fringe See Asset in Trump. Are those folks, say, in territory that has already supported Trump for the GOP nomination? Many of them are. I mean, Trump obviously did very well in, in all over the country. And... Um, and those, of course, were Republican primaries, where only Republicans and, in, in some cases, independents were allowed to participate. So how he would do in a general election is, is another question. But many of them are running in states, like uh, we found candidates in Virginia and, and Georgia. These are states where he, he did very well in the primary. Got it. All right. Give examples of uh, maybe a couple of others. Uh, sure. Well, there's uh, one candidate who's running against Paul Ryan, the, the House Speaker, who said uh, just last week that he would not endorse um, Donald Trump, who um, over the weekend, uh, his name is Paul Nealon, he, he garnered the support of former vice presidential nominee Sarah, who said, you know, uh, anyone who, you know, someone needs to take down Paul Ryan, essentially, is what she said, because he won't support the presumptive nominee. And so she has cast her lot with this, you know, relatively unknown.